what's up and welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC right here on WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning starting at 7 o'clock. Listen folks, COVID-19 has still got a hold of us, but we're trying to bring you some quality content every two weeks. We're going to bring it to you every two weeks. Show will run on Sunday, again on the following Sunday, and then we try and bring you something new for the following week and the coming weeks ahead. So there's not a lot of fishing going on right now. There's some rockfish in the back bay, some tog in the back bay, but COVID-19 has got us on lockdown. So we're kind of in between seasons a little bit. Flounder really haven't shown up in the back bay very much. Stripers, tog, pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna answer some questions for you. We had a show many, many years ago where I had the little cue cards out with pictures of fish, pictures of bait. We've had a lot of questions about that recently. So after the break, we're gonna talk a lot of information about fishing back here, Ocean City's back bays, Ocean City's inlet. We're gonna talk spots, fish, techniques, baits. Stay tuned after the break. It's Hooked on OC. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk has the largest selection of sunglasses on the East Coast. Over 800 pairs of coasters, including their new USA models to choose from. Hundreds of Oakley sunglasses, hats, and t-shirts. An enormous collection of Ray-Ban, Smith, Persol, Canon, Revo, and Maui Jim. Quiet Storm Surf Shop has the largest selection of name brand sunglasses. Visit Quiet Storm today. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and sportfish yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot sport yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, folks, welcome back to the show, man. We appreciate you tuning in to WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock for our episodes of Hooked on OC. We are in a really, really strange time right now. There's all kinds of governor's orders out there, and some people in Delaware aren't allowed to fish. Maryland's got a stay-at-home order, and things are changing all the time. But most important thing is be safe, be smart, once this passes, we'll all be out here fishing again, and things are going to be honky-dory. But until then, we're trying to bring you some content. A lot of questions asked over the past couple of weeks. We did a show up here at the Route 90 Bridge, caught some rockfish and that sort of thing. And then after that, we had a lot of emails and some Facebook messages come in talking about fishing techniques, what kind of fish we catch in the bay back here in Ocean City. So what we decided to do was we decided to come out, talk about the fish we catch in their bay. Some of it we're targeting, some of it we're not targeting. Um, so basically I brought the cue cards back out. I've got them all sitting here with me. We did a show probably seven or eight years ago when we were 30 minutes still. Um, and it was a really well received show. People went out on there and were able to go and see what kind of fish they were targeting. Talking about the spots, the different techniques, the baits, the rigs, the setups that we use. We got a beautiful evening here so let's get to it. First on the list, the black sea bass. Black sea bass are heavily targeted off the beach, but back here in the bay, they're kind of a nuisance. I've seen one keeper sea bass caught in the back bays of Ocean City in the past probably 25 years. It was a 13 inch fish caught on the South Jetty, but M. Rip will tell you, hey, what's up? M. Rip will tell you that 162,000 pounds were caught from shore in 2016. We're working on it, folks. A little bit of, of uh, common knowledge stuff here for you for the sea bass. State record, 
eight pounds. That is a jumbo. Hayward Madison caught it at the jack spot back in 1978. Important stuff for you to know. 12 and a half inch size limit, 15 fish per person. Season opens up on May the 15th, closes on December 31st. So from January 1st all the way through May the 15th, closed season opens up on May the 15th. If you catch a keeper sea bass in the back bay like we're talking about today, let me know. I might call you a liar. Trigger fish. Catch a bunch of these back here in the back bay during the summertime months. Delicious eating fish. State record on the trigger fish is 5.6 pounds. Was caught just last year, October of last year. Mike Glyphus caught one, 5.6 pounds. He was about 15 or 16 miles off the beach fishing ocean structure. And that is a jumbo trigger fish. We'll see these around the Route 50 bridge. They don't come up as far as Route 90, South Jetty, North Jetty. They like structure, like tall tog, things like that. So the trigger fish. Next up, the red drum. A lot of people don't know how prevalent red drum are in Ocean City's back bays. There are several red drum that come through here, spring migration, and then we catch them again in the fall really heavily, but they're here throughout the summer. State record, get ready, 70 pounds. Robert Light caught a 70 pound red drum back in September 1977 the Assateague Surf. You will not be able to break that state record anytime in the near future, and here's why. Size limit is 18 inches to 27 inches. That's it. One per person, and the season is open year-round. Delicious eating fish. We did a show a couple of years ago. I caught a couple of red drum, and they are absolutely delicious. I had them, fried them, panko breadcrumbs. Yum, yum. Red drum. Black drum. Another good eating fish. A lot of people don't know how prevalent black drum here are in Ocean City. State record, 79 pounds. Whoa. Stanley Illis, excuse me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, caught this fish on the bass grounds five or six miles off the beach back in September 1985. Size and creel limit for us is 16 inches. You're allowed one per person, and there's an aggregate boat limit of six per boat. So, if you got 10 people on the boat, you're still only amount a maximum of six black drum, but you are allowed one per person. Season's open year round. These guys made their self known on the scene just about six or eight years ago and have been coming back in great numbers ever since. I caught my first two about three years ago, really a couple small fish, caught about a six pounder last year doing an episode on the South Jetty, the sheep's head. State record, eight. 18 pounds. Robert Martin back in 2017, just a few years ago. They just started putting a size limit, or excuse me, a creel limit on sheep's head because people were keeping too many. 10, 12, 15 fish a person, that's too much. So they put it down on a four per person limit, open year round, there is no minimum size. So you catch a 10, 12, or 13 inch uh, sheep's head, you are allowed to keep that fish. Awesome eats, fun to catch. Another jetty dweller, the tall tog. Now we catch some keeper tog back here in the bay, but they're not real big. Five, six pounds, maybe seven. Back when I worked on the Tortuga back in the uh, 90s, we caught one that was just over seven pounds and that was an absolute jumbo out there on the South Jetty. Catch these around South Jetty, Martha's Landing, Route 50 Bridge, the bulkhead along uh, the baseball field just behind Ocean City. State record is not only the state record, but also the world record. Captain Kane Bounds on the fish pound put Ken Westerfeld on a 28.8 pound tall tog fishing on ocean structure back in January of 2015. Even if I knew that where that fish was caught, it was a lie. That secret is not coming out. World record tall tog comes off a wreck. That thing goes on lockdown and nobody else knows about it. 16 inches is the size limit. You're allowed to keep Pay attention, get a pen, write this down. January 1st until May the 15th, you're allowed four per person, all right? Closed season, May 15th until June 30th. So when May the 15th is gone, closed season, June 30th, it opens back up. July 1st until October 31st, when the season opens back up July 1st, you're allowed two fish per person. October 31st, that limit changes back to four per person on November 1st, and then December 31st, we are back to the end of the year. All right, so January 1st, May 15th, four per person, closed season, May 16th through June 30, July 1st through October 31st, two per person, November 1 through December 31, four per person. Next up, the croaker. 
State record was called over on the Chesapeake Bay, absolute jumbo, 6.5 pounds back in September of 2006. Nine inch uh, size limit on these guys, 25 per person, seasons open year round. Have not seen many croaker in the back bays in the past couple of years. Unfortunately, croaker, spot, other small fish like that are bycatch for the North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia shrimp fleet. So a lot of them die and get pushed overboard in shovels. And unfortunately, I think because of that, we are starting to see a decline in the croaker species here in Ocean City's back bays. Next up, the speckled trout or spotted sea trout. March, early to catch speckled trout, but I've seen a couple. Fishing report just the other night, Brian Mullins caught a nice one at the Route 90 bridge. Big Bird's buddy Sean caught one at the Route 50 bridge. So a little bit early, but there are some speckled trout around. State record, 13 pounds. Jack Miller caught one in the Cinepuxin Bay back in 1973. Current limits, 14 inches on the size, four per person on the creel, and this fish is open year round. Spot, uh, speckled sea trout, otherwise known as speck or spotted sea trout. The cousin of the spotted sea trout is the weak fish or the gray trout. Awesome eating fish. These fish have also been on the decline recently. Had a little bit of a comeback last year where I saw some really nice fish in the back bays, especially around the inlet area, Route 50 Bridge, spots like that. They love to eat some baits like mullet, spot, bunker, that sort of thing. We'll get to that in just a little bit, a little while. 16 pound state record caught by Donald Cannon back in September 1976 in the Ocean City Inlet. Limits that you need to worry about, 13 inches on the size, one fish only per person, season's open year round. Pay attention, blue fish has changed. There he is, the toothy critter that a lot of people use for bait, some people like to eat. Everything has changed on the size limit, or excuse me, on the creel limit, so pay attention to that. State record on the blue fish, 23 and a half pounds. Hard to believe, that's a giant, giant chopper blue fish. Lillian Morris fishing the Acetique Surf back in October of 1974. Caught that jumbo fish. That's going to be a tough one to beat ever. Limits now, eight inches. Here's the kicker. We're allowed 10 fish per person previously. That's all been adjusted. Now if you're fishing on a charter boat with a licensed charter captain, you're allowed five bluefish per person at eight inches. If you're fishing privately on your own, you're allowed three fish per person at eight inches. Season is open year round. Awesome shark bait. If you decide to go Mako shark fishing, some people like those smaller fish for grilling or making fish cakes. Now we're getting to a couple of good ones. Boom! The rockfish or the striped bass. Limits have changed on these boys too. Pay attention in just a second. State record 57.2 pounds is the coastal record for that. The state record is 69 pounds or so over on the Chesapeake Bay. Coastal records, what I wanted to tell you guys about. Gary Smith caught that fish in the Acetique Surf back in May of 2006. Hopefully, we're allowed back on the beaches in May of 2020 with COVID 19 going on. And here's where rock fishing has changed. We were previously allowed a 28 inch fish all the way to 38 inch fish, a little slot. And you weren't allowed to keep them between 38 and 44. And then over 44, you could keep them again. Forget like I even said anything. Now the size limit is 28 inches to less than 35 inches, one fish per person, that's it. So you're allowed to keep a rockfish about that much. If his tail reaches from 28 to 35, anywhere in that slot you can keep one. Anything below or above it, throw him back. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give my, wov my wovely wife, <laughs> a break behind the camera because I've been talking for a couple of minutes. And next we're getting into Paralichthys dentatus. All right, stay tuned after the break. We're gonna talk flounder and we're gonna talk baits. We'll be right back in just a second with some more Hooked on OC. See you in a minute. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. 
Speed World at Jolly Roger Park on 30th Street, one of America's largest, the area's fastest, and baddest go-kart tracks. And now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City, Speed World, with 10 tracks and over 500 cars featuring the Cyclone, a five-story kart coaster, named by Fox News as one of the country's top new amusement attractions. Come to Speed World on 30th Street in Ocean City. Fast and furious fun for the entire family. Now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An optical galleria can help you see. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an optical galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Baitmasters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, folks, we are back on a beautiful, beautiful evening here in the Cinepuxent Bay in Ocean City, Maryland. Ocean City over on the east side, all lit up, nice and beautiful, nice calm wind. Way, way different, way different than our trip at the Route 90 Bridge when we were catching those rockfish. Weatherman said it was going to blow 15 and it blew more like 25 plus. It was really, really ridiculously rough, but we had a really good time release some rockfish, and we were able to make a new show for you. So win-win, right? All right, so we are in the middle of talking about fish and baits and rods and rigs and tackle and all that sort of thing for fishing the back bays here in Ocean City. And before the break, I teased my favorite fish of all, and there he is, Paralichthys dentatus, otherwise known as the summer flounder. Our neighbors to the north, north of Delaware, New Jersey, um, Pennsylvania, New York, and places further north than that. They call this guy the fluke, you know what I'm saying? We down here call it the flounder. Different than the uh, winter flounder, the winter flounder is the cousin of the flounder, but he faces this way on his brown side. Uh, winter, summer flounder is a left-eyed flatfish, winter flounder is a right-eyed flatfish, they face different directions. Summer flounder have nice teeth in there, you can probably see a little bit in the diagram. They've got pretty conspicuous teeth, whereas winter flounder do not. Ready for the state record on the flounder, summer flounder? 17 pounds, 17 pounds. That is an absolute door. I don't know what house that's going on, but that's a doormat. The world record for flounder is 22 pounds. I've seen fish bigger than that. Squid boats that fish off of Ocean City back in the day would occasionally catch fish over 25 pounds. Absolutely insane jumbo flounders. Anthony Bacari, he caught that 17 pounder in the Assateague Surf back in October of 1974. Limits for us from 2020, 16 inches. We're allowed four per person, and the season's open year round. We've got some fish in the bay right now. Not a lot. Uh, Chef Mikey from over at the Ocean City Marlin Club and I agree. Once the water hits 52, 54 degrees in the ocean and is consistently in the 50s in the back bay, that's when those fish will really start to push into the bay. We've had a couple of stragglers that have moved back in here, had one fish that was caught super, super early this year, back on March the 14th. Um, Kristen, my lovely bride behind the camera today, she caught the first fish last year back on April 4th of 2019 on one of our deadly double rigs and a gulp. We'll get to that in just a little while. But fish are back here in the bay and will be moving in all the time. If the weather stays like this, we should expect to see them more and more and more. Just pay attention to what your fishing restrictions are before you go. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back.
catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. You got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family too. We're a comprehensive overview of the entire Del Marva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateag Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. The cool, wet spring and the short summer means an abundance of leftover inventory. So at Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning, when you buy a high-efficiency gas furnace and coil, we'll replace your air conditioner for $9.95. We also have great deals on heat pumps, and if you buy a 16-seer system, you get a free 10-year part and labor rapid repair warranty. But this deal won't last long, so act fast. Call Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning for your free no-obligation estimate today. For program details, call your local Arctic office or visit them online at arcticheatandair.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. You're fishing back here in the back bay and you're fishing for sheep's head, sea bass, tall tog, rockfish will eat them as well. One of their favorite baits, the sand flea or mole crab. These guys, you can go dig them up yourself on the beach. You want to get right down in the wash, get a, get a, a flea rake, a sand flea rake, rake them up. There's a basket on the back of that rake and you can catch all you want once you get the hang of it. Best way to hook these guys, as you can see, is right through the main part of the body, the, the meaty part of the shell. What I like to do is I like to put the point of the hook right through the digger there. You can see that on the underbody of the, of, the, uh, of the crab. And then come out the top, and that'll hold them on there really, really nice. Once we get to the rigs, I'll show you how the hooks work. And you can push one, two, three, sometimes more than that, crabs up there because they, they travel in packs, big pods of these sand fleas. So the fish are sometimes attracted to more than one bait on a hook the sand flea. Next up, you're still fishing for tall tog, maybe a sheep's head. Sea bass will eat parts of these bad boys. The invasive species known as the green crab. Green crab is, crab is a really popular bait for fishing for tall tog, especially off in the wrecks out in the ocean. Uh, that's not what we're talking about today, but you can still use these guys back in the back bays and have much success. Depending on the size of the crab, you're going to either want to use a whole crab just like this and hook him back through the swimmer fin, right back in the back part of the, part of the crab, and use them whole. You want to fish, if it's a crab about that size, you can get away with it. Much bigger than that, you want to cut them into chunks, sometimes half, sometimes quarters, depending on the size of the crab. So it's real easy. If you're going to use a, a crab that's cut into parts, Pull that top crab shell off, cut them in either in half to make the size about that big, or cut them in quarters to make the size about that big, and then put them on a hook and you're raring to go. If you do use a crab that's whole, take the advice of Captain Monty and use a sinker or some other blunt object and bash that shell. Tall tog feed on scent, so you want to have that scent getting out. The only way to do that is to open the crab up. I don't know many people that use these much nowadays, but if you want to catch a jumbo striped bass in Ocean City, you're going to want to use a live eel. I'm not even sure how many shops carry them until the fall rolls around. Sunset Provisions Atlantic Tackle over there in West Ocean City, I know they had them last year. You're going to pay a buck to two bucks depending on the size of the eel um, and how readily available they are, but really, really terrific rockfish bait. Uh, went out with my brother and some old friends from Bahia Marina back in the day, man, the late 90s. And we caught uh, some really big rockfish in the Ocean City Inlet, drifting live eels. Biggest one was 41 inches, I think it was, and about 20 pounds. That's a really nice rockfish on, an, on a live eel. Don't be surprised if a flounder or something else eats these. I've also heard of a 10-pound flounder caught on a live eel. About the same time frame we were catching those rockfish. The American Shiner is an awesome spring bait for flounder. That's him. 
You can also see something called a smelt, which is looks like a larger version of a shiner. Anything that's got silvery sides on it is going to be attractive to flounder, regardless of what the fish is. Sometimes the bigger the bait, the better. You're going to want to hook those dead fish because they're usually done uh, either fresh or frozen. You're going to hook them right through the eyes. Put it right through the eye sockets. That'll give them a little hinge, and then that way they can kind of swim back there freely in the current because they're not putting out any uh, of them, their own swimming because they're frozen. The mummy chug or the live minnow. There's a lot of these back here. They're back in our uh, tributaries right now. Even behind my house, shallow pools and shallow estuaries that come back. These guys like to get back there in that warm water as the sun heats it up. And there are loads of them back here. If you want some of the biggest that you've ever seen, go to Sunset Provisions and ask for Skip. Bam! Skip the minnow will hook you up. Mummy chug, uh, guys up north call them killies. But that is a mud minnow, and that is an awesome flounder bait. You want to hook him right through the lips, far enough back where it doesn't get him, uh, where it doesn't hit him in the brain behind the eyes here, and far enough, or excuse me, far enough forward so that doesn't happen, far enough back so you get a little hinge and he can stay alive, but he doesn't come right off because he's hooked too far forward of the lips. Live minnow. All right, now we're getting into some of my favorite baits for flounder, but rockfish, trout, red drum, black drum, they all eat them too. Bunker or LY. These guys have been moving into the back bays on a more regular basis the past couple of years. Starting July, August, definitely September, and you can cast net them yourself. That's the only way that you're going to get live bunkers by cast netting them yourself. They are very, very fragile fish. Um, you throw a cast net, catch 100 fish, 20 of them are going to die right off the bat just as soon as the net hits them. And if you don't have a live well that's got circulation in it, don't even bother keeping them. They're all going to die. You've got to have good flow of the, of the live well pump, and you also have to have circular motion because they'll bang themselves into the corner of a square or rectangle live well, and they'll die by that, by that happening as well. So circular uh, live well and plenty of water flow. Terrific flounder bait. I like to get them right where this diagram shows with the hook through the eyes like a shiner, or you can sometimes put the hook up like you would through a live, like a live minnow, but I like their mouth to be able to be open because when they're down there uh, waiting for a flounder to jump on them, they can at least open their mouth, get some water going through their gills, and they'll stay alive a little bit longer. My last two are my favorite. Kristen caught her biggest flounder ever on a live spot. Anywhere in the two to maybe four inch size range, perfect for a big, big flounder. Rockfish will eat them, bluefish will eat them. I've also seen some, uh, some really, really, surprisingly, really big red drum caught on live spot. Guys that fish the Astatique Surf like to fish spot tails, spot heads, spot fillets, things like that to catch um, some red drum. That is a really terrific bait. Uh, both trout like to eat live spot as well. Same thing, there's, you can hook them through the eyes, forward just like that, or if you look really closely, you can see his nostrils. And sometimes I'll hook them, if there's a big enough spot, I'll hook them through those nostrils because you don't want to lose too much of the gap of the hook inside the fish where you don't have enough exposed to get a good hook set if a nice flounder happens to come along. Live spot. And last but certainly not least, my favorite of all. I'm a little bit biased because the largest flounder that I've ever caught was on a live mullet. An eight pounder, 27 and a half incher, ate my live mullet in wind that was probably about as bad as our rockfish episode, 25 or so out of the northwest. We decided to creep on in over there next to Martha's Landing, which you'll see in just a little while. And I had the luck of fishing in a tournament that was canceled and catching eight pound flounder. Go figure. Live mullet, there he is. I like to, you won't probably find these any place for sale, but same as the bunker, you can catch them yourself with a cast net. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll clip that dorsal fin off just because when the flounder bites on there, if he feels that, sometimes he'll let go. So sometimes I'll clip that off if I have my scissors handy and if the fish is big enough. And that's just how you hook a, a mullet right up through the tip of the lips in front of the eyes so you don't go too far back and kill him through the brain and far enough back where you can get a good bite through the lips. Live mullet. So what do we put these baits on? We put them on some rigs that you are going to have easy access to because they're at most tackle shops and it's got our name on them. So stick around for another minute. We're coming up with the rigs in just a sec. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. 
There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the Dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan Pontoon Boat Dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan Pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. Sometimes, all you have to do is read the signs. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite. Hold true. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, welcome back. We have talked about the fish. We've talked about the baits, some of them. And now let's talk about some rigs. Um, we used to use all kinds of different stuff. And then back in the day, Dale Timmons came to me and said, hey, you should try this deadly double rig. I've been hooked ever since. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. And I started rock fishing and trout fishing and doing some red drum around the jetty and blue fishing around the jetty and that sort of thing. I used to throw rapalas and rattle traps and that sort of thing. And then Big Bird Cropper came to me and said, hey, Scott, you should try the Roy rig. And I did, and I got hooked. Ever since, that's what we use. Dale Timmons was even nice enough to let us bring some of his rigs back. We've had the pleasure of being friends with Dale for a long, long time now. He had a line of tackle called Assateague Tackle. Back when I ran uh, Sunset Provisions, we had it on the shelf, as long as we could keep it there, and it absolutely flew off the shelf. And he was nice enough to give us some designs that we were able to bring back for consumers to buy. You can get them in all the local tackle shops around town. Atlantic Tackle has got them loaded to the ceiling. So if you need them, go by there. You can get also get all this stuff at fishingoc.com for when the tackle shops are closed, like they are unfortunately right now. So let's get into it. If you're fishing for tall tog, sheep's head, trigger fish, sea bass, things like that around the jetty, back bulkhead of Ocean City, Route 50 bridge, you're gonna wanna use our double header. This is a rig that I brought back into the fishing OC line because I had some experience fishing with Captain Dan Lampy on the Tortuga, and this is how he used to tie me how, uh, show me how to tie him. It's a 50 pound piece of leader, Got a ball bearing swivel up at the top. Eight inches down, we've got one hook going to a 4011 Mustad O'Shaughnessy style hook. It's an important hook because it's pretty strong. This way, you can see. And it doesn't have much of a wide gap. The gap between the point of the hook and the shank of the hook is very small. And if you notice, tall tog, very small mouth. Sheep's head, very small mouth. Trigger fish, very small mouth. So. You get the right bait on there and you get a bite, boom, you're still going to be able to get hooks at them in there with that blue O'Shaughnessy style hook. Overall length of the rig is about two feet. There's two rigs on there. And the easy way to get the sinker on is with this loop on the bottom, okay? So you've got a simple loop at the bottom. Here's how you do that. With any rig that you have a loop for your sinker, this is how you do it. Grab your sinker. All sinkers are going to have either an eye or a swivel at the top. Pinch your line in. Go through the eye of the, of the sinker, and then take the loop and go around the bottom of the sinker. Boop! You're all set. Hook yourself in the butt. More than once. 
and then you're ready to go. As you can see, once this is cast out there, it'll sit nicely on the bottom, one really close to the bottom, and then one suspended up a little ways in case something like a trigger fish, sea bass, or otherwise is suspended up in the water column. There it is, the double header. Next up, the croaker smoker. You can smoke some croaker with the croaker smoker. This is one of Dale's rigs. This is a great surf rig. We fish for small fish in the surf like kingfish, flounder, trout, pompano that we had in the area last year. This is a terrific rig for that. 30 pound monofilament, wide gap hook, some floats and beads for attractant. The color of the beads is a nice attractant and they also, they float. So when the rig is sitting on the bottom, this will keep you away from crabs. Don't be afraid to use this for flounder. Old Smarty Pants behind the camera last year, she had a smoke, uh, croaker smoker on there and I was using the deadly double, would not give it up with big baits trying to catch a big fish. She outfished me six to one. Had two keepers in the mix as well on the croaker smoker. And then last year, I jump on the Bay B with my fraternity brothers. I want something simple that's not real extensive because these guys are clowns. I'm gonna get tangled up with them. There's no two ways about it. But I also wanted to use our rigs. So I threw a croaker smoker on there I uh, used the uh, salmon red gulp on one and the white gulp on another. Not only did I win most fish, I won biggest fish too. Smoked those guys on the croaker smoker. Moving on, you got to have a live bait rig for a big fish if you want to fish for uh, flounder, rockfish, trout, drum, and things like that using larger baits. Five inch gulps, six inch gulps, mullet, bunker, and spot. And we've got one for you. We call this the doormat destroyer. Like that? Inline three way swivel. Tie your main line right there. Sinker snap here. Drop leader to the sinker, about eight inches or so. Two and a half foot leader. Bam. Back to a four row Gamagatsu style hook. All right. That's not an actual Gamagatsu hook, but these are really, really sharp. We've had tremendous success with these on the deadly double rigs and it's great for the doormat destroyer. This one's new this year, so if you're using big baits, you don't want a lot of flash and stuff on there, you just want the bait to do what it does, doormat destroyer is the way to go. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Sr. Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. When it comes to offshore fishing equipment, Okaya means value. Like the 80 offshore combo for 730 and the 50 offshore combo for 530. Call Sophia at 443-880-2222 or check them out at okaya.com. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Oh boy, this is the one that started it all, folks. The Deadly Double. 
Here it is, man. The way the story goes, Dale Timmons was fishing with Jason Mumford on the lucky break. I think Paul Turner. And and Dale was using one of the or Dale gave the guys a rig to use, and Jason said, Man, Dale, this rig is deadly. So Dale decided to say, hey man, that's a great name for a fishing rig. And the deadly double was born. You can see how extensive this rig is, folks. Very, very extensive rig. Covers a lot of territory, all right? Ball bearing swivel up at the top. 30 pound leader on this one. Beads and a spinner blade on both leads. The first lead is right off the top of the swivel. Heads out there about 12 inches or so. Another 18 inches down is another lead. And that one goes out about 20 to 24 inches. And on the bottom is our sinker snap. All right, sinker snap, super simple. Let me show you how we do this. You unclasp, unclasp the sinker snap, simple as that. Bank sinker up to two ounces will go in there no problem. Otherwise use a bass casting sinker. Goes through the eye, you snap it shut, and you're ready to go. And you can see this thing goes down on the bottom and it's going to cover a lot of turf. All right. One thing we heard last year with the deadly double was, hey, man, my thing's getting tangled. It's get coming up all tangled. And what we found was sometimes when you're fishing a really, really fast current, that little clasp from the spinner blade will get stuck in that top bead, in the eye of that top bead. So just make sure that's not happening because if that is happening, this thing's gonna spin all around. It's gonna tangle the entire rig up. This needs to be spinning freely. So when you give it a whirl like that, that's what the current should be doing, okay? Deadly double, and that thing is deadly. We have it in chartreuse. We also have it in pink. And like I say, most local tackle shops and Atlantic Tackle and West OC, man, they got a million of them. New this year, we brought back Dale's Double Trouble. Now the Double Trouble is tied exactly like the Deadly Double. Covers a lot of real estate, all right? You can see that up top, ball bearing swivel. First lead comes off 12 or 18, or 12 or 16 inches to the first hook. Down another 18 inches to the second lead. And then finally, at the bottom, your sinker snap. The difference between the Deadly Double and the double trouble is the hooks and of course the skirts. Some people wanted to use a more traditional flounder hook, the wide gap hook. So that's what we brought back with the deadly or the double trouble. And these have skirts. So we, they come in green, a couple of beads to help with keeping it in line. They come in green and they also come in pink. And the better these rigs do and the more requests we get, the more colors we will probably come out with double trouble now we're fishing the route 50 bridge we're fishing the route 90 bridge we're fishing the verrazano bridge we're fishing the Asselwoman woman uh, bay we're fishing the ocean city inlet we're fishing the oceanic pier we're fishing the south jetty we're fishing the north jetty and we're casting right we're catching rockfish trout you name it boom this is what we're using the roy rig i'll let you read it back here on the back for your own for good results bounce on bottom, or go fishing with Big Bird Cropper. I get to do the second part of that. Big Bird Cropper's a good buddy of mine. The Roy Rig is a tremendous bait. Couple of components of Roy, to Roy, I have people do that to him all the time, that Big Bird um, came up with. It's a 7 eighths or so ounce lead head, five inch shad body. Take that plastic hook thing off, thank you. And that's it. Basically, if you're fishing for different types of species, you're going to use different techniques. Fishing for bluefish, you're going to zip it through the water column really fast. Fishing for trout, fishing for rockfish, and that sort of thing, you're going to bounce it along the bottom. These are not available in too many tackle shops. Got them at Raceway Sitgo, right next to Crabs to Go. You can pick the Roy rig up, and you pick them up at Fenwick Tackle when they've got them in stock. Or go to fishingoc.com. The Roy rig is right there on our website, and you can pick these up. So that's our arsenal. Give me a minute, I'm going to get the rods together, and we'll talk about that. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Whether it's a chart plot or fish finder combo for your inshore bay boat, or a complete electronics package including radar, plotter, thermal imaging camera, autopilot or sonar, East Coast Marine Electronics can handle it all. 
veteran owned and operated, give Chad a call at 443-880-7206 or email at chad at eastcoastmoonelectronics.com. Termites can strike without warning, coming up and damaging support structures of your home undetected for years. That's why it's vital to have termite protection you can trust. At Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions, besides our great service, we also stand behind our termite defense programs, from a chemical treatment to our termite bait station system. Help Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions make Delmarva termite free again. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. And now back for more Hooked on OC. I like when it starts like this. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Hope you're enjoying this episode of Hooked on OC. We have finally made it someplace tropical and we are having an absolute blast. But we are going to get with the king of tropical locations, Captain Bill Pino of Squid Nation. We'll do the dot com in a little bit. He's got brand new products. You guys have seen him on the show before. Atlantic Tackle has got a ton of his stuff, so it's it's always good to talk about it. Doing well with the old products, but you got some new stuff coming out. Always innovative. Always bringing out new things that the guys are asking for. Compliment you on that. What is what is this all about? All the guys ever talk about is can you? Yeah. You know, you, you come out with something, they're like, that's great. Can, yep. can you? Make can you it tweak this, can tweak you, yeah. different color. Yeah, so we're always heavier. we're always working on stuff. A little heavier. Yeah. This is uh this is the new uh, big heavy. We we've carried the big heavy for years, but this big heavy has a yellowfin pattern. It's it's exactly like the new skulls that we showed a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, but we also added the mahi That's big pretty. heavy. So now we have three big heavies. Uh, they're three and a half ounces. They're excellent for uh, blue fins. Yep. Uh, actually the one of the big heavies uh, won the um, the tuna tournament a, qu a couple times with uh, Marty Moran and, and yeah, right on. That's a blast from the past. That's blast from the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah Marty Moran. That's easy for you. To easy say. for me to say. Which so, which one is this? What color is so this? that's the uh, that's the skipjack. Okay. And if you ever ever hold these two, if yep. you've ever seen a skipjack, uh, they have that. They have that dot, uh, tart, uh, the, that's easy for me to say. <laughs> Spit it out, will you? <laughs> yeah, they have the dark top there, and then they have yep. the lines on the bottom on, uh, going across the white belly. This is three and a half ounces. Uh, like I said, it's a heavier bait. The reason why I like heavier baits, especially on some of the long riggers when you're out there tuna fishing, uh, is when a, when a big tuna fish, like a bluefin or a big eye, comes up and they're ready to eat, they're pushing a lot of water. Right. And with a light bait, like a squid or, or like a light green machine or something like that, when they push that, it just moves it out. If this can track for just another quarter second, uh, it can stay in place to get It bit. might end up in his mouth rather than rolling off his nose exactly. or down his side. Right? Exactly. Yep. So that's why we like the heavy baits for these bigger tuna fish. Wahoo, this is a killer wahoo bait. Uh, it's always been a killer wahoo bait for us. So Not no. recommended for dredges. Just well, I, I, I wouldn't recommend them for dredges yeah. just because they're too heavy. You already got a you already got a lead on Not the to dredge. The drag, the you know, dredge plus the drag. Right. You know, I, I don't think that the three and a half ounces times twelve is going to make a lot of difference in keeping it down, uh, and it'll um, it'll just make it heavier to retrieve. Yeah, so understood. Most the, of the, your most of your retrieve is done by the weight is done by the by the dredge weight. That mahi is an impressive color, man. That mahi I like is it awesome. quite a bit. It's, and you say the colors sometimes sell the sell the fishermen before they sell the fish, but. That, that thing is going to catch fish. That's beautiful. Well, they, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, there was just loads and loads of mahi out there in, in, in August and September. Yep. And they're all about this big. Yep. And, you know, what's eating them? 
So fastest everything. growing fish in the ocean. I think I think the good fastest Lord did that dying for, fish. In fastest it. dying <laughs> fish. In the, I was just gonna get to get to that. Yeah, the good Lord probably did that for a reason. They're yeah. more of a they're more of a forage fish than they are. They're a food fish for pre- larger predators like tunas and yeah. marlins and things like that uh, more than they are game fish sometimes. Uh, but that's a gorgeous one. That is gonna do really really well. Can people check out the colors and stuff online before they come to Atlantic Tackle? Yeah, we have them on uh, on squidnation.com. Okay. And they're under uh, big heavies, and then the skulls are under the match to hatch and the dredge components. Uh, so check us out. And uh, we have them available here. We have a whole array yeah, of skulls. This whole, yeah. we, that's why we stood here. This whole aisle is Squid Nation products. Top to bottom, he's got uh, skull Stretch replacements, heads. heads of squids, the full lures, all skirts, all of it. You name it, it's upstairs here, right across from Dr. Dennis up on the uh, second level of Atlantic Tackle. And right behind us, we got a, or behind uh, the camera there, there's a whole bunch of uh, dredge, uh, supplies, dredge supplies. Yeah, so weights come on and down and everything check us out. you've got. It's all available to view online at squidnation.com or come check it out in person here at Atlantic Tackle. We'll be right back with a little bit more hooked on OC right after the break. In Spanish? Mm. SquidNation.com! Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top-name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. Sometimes, all you have to do is read the science. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite. Hold true. Spencer Yachts Brokerage presents the 44-foot Spencer Express Traveler, the 47-foot James Hudson Gala Mine, the 48-foot Custom Carolina Oceans East, the 57-foot Ricky Scarborough Sally Girl, the 70-foot Spencer Plain Simple, the 74-foot Spencer Centurion, the 87-foot Spencer Bangarang. All available at SpencerYB.com. Now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, here we go. Let's talk Lennox Arsenal. Let's talk Hooked on OC gun cabinet. This is the stuff that does all of the damage for us. Every one of the rods that you're about to see is a JPR custom rod. Paul Rayburn has been involved with us in the show for several years now. He has an absolutely awesome product. Check him out at jprrods.com if you want to do some custom stuff. And I'm going to show you one in just a couple of minutes that you can pick up at Atlantic Tackle that's a JPR Custom with all of our specs. All right, as we talk fishing spots, we're going to start at the north and head to the south. Some of the more popular spots that we fish and some of the spots that you're going to see in the Fishing OC Fishing Report on a pretty much nightly basis. First up, the Route 90 Bridge. You can see that the... Hooked on OC. We'll be right back.
Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, there you go. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the show. Wasn't about, I can't say it wasn't about fishing. Wasn't about catching fish this episode. But I hope you don't mind me dropping some Lennox knowledge on you. Got a lot of experience back here in the back bays of Ocean City. So I wanted to give you some tips and techniques, rods, rigs, baits, all that sort of thing on how we do it when we make the show so you can go out and have some success when you decide to do it on your own. If you decide not to do it on your own, you don't feel like messing with it. We've got some great party boats and some great charter boats that fish the back bays of Ocean City for flounder, rockfish, bluefish, you name it. Check them out at fishingoc.com under the inshore tab, party boats and charter boats. Also, if you want to go offshore, the offshore tab has got the charter boats on that side. Really appreciate you tuning into this episode of the show. COVID-19, we will get through this, folks. Just be smart. Wash your hands a bunch. Don't touch your face. When they tell you not to go out in public, don't go out in public. All right, all kinds of stuff going on, so make sure you t pay attention to what's going on right now. We have no idea when the show will come out next couple of weeks or so. No idea what's going to be going on, but whatever's going on, we're going to see you on the other side of it. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the show. See you next time. I'm Scott Lennox, and I'm out.